uh, genetics and inheritance die hybrid crosses welcome to my class guys and bonani dumelani afsheni hello nda so today's date 27 march 2024 wednesday time 10:37 so your guy people here so welcome to my class feel free those who are coming here for the first time feel free to take a seat subscribe comment and share thank you guys Today we'll be doing die hybrid crosses. Ne? So up until this moment, uh, we have done all of this up and, and then group a uh, blood grouping. We did it and then monohybrid sex determination. Why are we doing die hybrid after blood grouping? Because blood grouping, sex determination, and sex lane inheritance, we use a monohybrid crosses method to do these crossings. For example, blood, you'll agree with me that we did something like this. Uh, we did something like this and then sex determination you'll agree with me that here yeah, we did something like this and then sex linked inheritance you'll agree with me that we did something like this when we're talking about hemophilia ne? so you know that when these problems we are going to use a monohybrid cross right a monohybrid cross is just a cross that we are crossing one trait this one and this one go, it's going to give us a one chromosome right and then in this in this in this scenario, we are, we are using a cell with only two chromosomes in this scenario. But in our dihybrid cross, we are going to now move into a cell with two pair of chromosomes. Then triple, fourth, man, 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 up until 24. But here we are only going to do one and two. Then here, let's move on. Ne? Then we are still on our... A plan Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you can see my thing is my ish. You don't, you can't, you can't see the case, but the thing is refreshing. I'm not sure if it will, it will crash as like the other day. Okay, it's fine. Monday we did a revision and blood grouping, and then Tuesday we did question and answer, and then Wednesday we are doing die hybrid introduction and something yana and then thursday we are going to do die hybrid now questions and what what you'll be understanding die hybrid by that time and then friday we are going to do question and answer so if you have a question concerning die hybrid you are, this is this will be your time to send it to our uh, ish to our 0711906168 to our whatsapp group so that we'll do it when we do our question and answer on friday so let's come here let let me explain this what here we explained and then now we are coming to dihybrid crosses with one cell with two pairs of chromosomes then our caps they are saying dihybrid cross you will have to understand a phenotypes and a genotype so at the end of this lesson you should be able to determine the phenotype and the genotype of a offspring when we are crossing two traits two traits two characteristics right it's fine and then you should be able to differentiate between dihybrid crosses and monohybrid crosses and then you should be able to uh, do the dihybrid genetic problems and to determine the proportion and ratio of phenotype and genotype so welcome guys thank you welcome amen amen and amen then it says mandel principle of independent mandel mandel's principles of independent assortment so here we did first a uh, law or first principle which was the segregation second dominant third also independent assortment i told you that when we do dihybrid crosses we are going to explain this uh, independent assortment right so let me not waste my time with segregation dominant by this time you know them then independent assortment you can see here in our examination guideline barry the vary the various factors controlling the different characteristics are separate entities not influencing each other in any way and sorting themselves out independently during gamete information so you see that i'm not writing anything i want to explain this assortment this independent assortment and then we come back and understand this statement here because they will be asking you uh, tell us about independent assortment uh, give us you understand why uh, two chromosomes why two characteristics they are not depending on what 
okay that will be that and then here this this one it's your it's your but what caps mind the gap and it mind the gap it say dire hybrid crosses and then dire hybrid crosses a dire hybrid cross involve the inheritance of two characteristics or two traits what are we talking about here first first time we talk about a tall plant a tall tall plant being crossed with a short plant and then this time around we are going to say a tall man or a tall man a tall black man it will be a tall black man was crossed with a short a short white lady short white lady ne? and then from there this will be the traits this will be the two characteristics that will be doing with the hybrid cross and then we are going to say tall dominant black dominant multiplied by short recessive and white recessive so here this 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 is what you have to understand and this is where you have to take it and move on so the the scenarios that they will give you they'll give you then you'll understand oh this one is dominant and this one is die hybrid and this one it crosses ne? and then the mendel, mendel explained the results obtained and then mendel will explain nearly this thing but mendel explained the results obtained from die hybrid crosses according to his law of independent assortment so when you will have to understand what is this law independent a uh, law of independent assortment because mendel he he explained the results that we get when he explained what we get when we do when we have two chromosomes and then when we have now four chromosomes or two pairs of chromosomes he explained this with an independent assortment law ne? then according to law here's the law but according to the law of independent alleles of a gene mind you mendel he referred this as the factors ne? A alleles of a gene of one characteristic segregate or separate independently of the alleles of a gene for another characteristic the alleles for the two genes factors will therefore come together randomly they will come together randomly during the gametes formation this means that the two characteristics are transferred or are transmitted to the offspring independently of one another i'm going to explain this and then this above law applies if the genes of the two characteristics are not on the same character on the same chromosomes so let me explain this so that when we come back to our examination guideline when we come back to our uh, um, uh, i used to refer this as our green book our yes our green book then we'll be able to uh, to, to to understand what is this independence a uh, law of assortment means ne? so i'll take this when i don't know independence of assortment so here's the thing we we did our we did our let me use white we did our a uh, a mono hybrid with only two uh, chromosomes and for now we are going to do it with two with two pairs of chromosome or with four chromosome let me write them i'm teaching this someone i'm teaching this to someone who doesn't know this and who doesn't even know what is happening with die hybrid what is so if we now you know what is happening with die hybrid you can press that uh, one or two 1.75 times speed or you can press that two times speed to the so that we move on and then let's say for example this is the cell ne? and then in this cell this cell we know that why are we using four cell is this a human cell no you know the reasons so in these two cells we have two homologous chromosomes two homologous this is before the meiosis right and then this is before the sperm is formed or egg is formed and then in chromosome karyotype we also go to karyotype this will be the karyotype of two only two uh, cells ne? two a uh, two chromosome two pair of chromosome and then in this chromosome let's just say let's just use our example of a tall man with of this tall black man and it this is a tall black man in this chromosome this this these two chromosomes they will be encoding for a tall and then these two chromosomes they will be encoding for the color black ne? so let's just say for example the guy is heterozygous heterozygous and he is heterozygous and because he's heterozygous it means that one of his chromosome is capital letter t and another chromosome small letter t also applies here one of his chromosome is capital letter b and one of his chromosome is small letter b let's go and crank them into our 
cells. And then here we'll have T, and then here we'll have small letter T. And then here we'll have capital letter B, and then here we'll have small letter B. This is the cell during metaphase. Meta, me, is it meta or H? Metaphase 1. Ne? And then they are at the equator, right? So this is before the segregation. So before, this is before the separation. Ne? And then before the separation, they are going to align at the equator homologously. You did this, I can, I'm explaining this independent assortment, right? So they are going to align at the equator uh, randomly. It means that this T, this T and T, they can come in the and align this in this position. And there's B and B, there's a possibility of them to align in this position. But here's the thing, because they can align randomly, it there's a possibility of this T to rotate. Uh, get that. And also this B to rotate. There's a possibility of this to rotate. Anir. They do that. Are They arrange they are randomly. There's a possibility of this T to rotate. Let's use another color. Let's use another color. We can say if this T and T rotate, it means that this side will have small letter T and this side will have capital letter T. And then if this and this rotate, this side will have small letter B and this side will have a capital letter B. But they are still homologously. Ne? So, when this cell, when this cell separate, when this cell separate here, when this cell separate, it will depend on which chromosome is at which side of the pool. So if this side we have capital letter T and capital letter B, it means that our gamete is going to have a capital letter T. This one is not visible, but my good friend, this one is not visible. Let's use the visible one. Eh? Let's use the visible one. And then if we are saying that our gametes, if we say our gametes, and then we say we find capital letter T and BT on this side of the pole, our gametes is going to have capital letter T and capital letter B. This will be our cell of this particular organism. Or, or we might find that no, the B rotate here, yeah, this was the rotation happened and the rotation happened. But the gametes now, it's coming with small letter T and small letter b it means that we are going to have a small letter t and small letter b ne? or no man no mr Mpepe. we also have another another possibilities what if the only this rotate what if only this rotate it means that we are going to have a capital letter t and then a capital letter t and small letter b ne? and then we also have another last a uh, last 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 gametes what if this one doesn't rotate, but this one rotate? It means that now we are going to have a small letter T and a capital letter B. So you understand now? Do you understand this? Do you understand this? Hmm? The color. So this is what is happening with independent assortment. And another thing, he also said that this T here, it does not influence the other chromosome near the site. So it means the chromosomes for tallness, they do not influence the chromosomes of, of the color. So you might have be tall and white color, white gene, white uh, gene, and these are the gene. Then you might be, you might have a tall gene with a white gene, or you might have a tall gene with a black gene. Does not influence that, that here we are, we are talking about the independent assortment. This Gregor Mendel. You can also uh, we can also be the, the, the sons of, 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 of genetics, guys. Once we are explaining this genetics like this, we can be the sons of genetics. And then who was the son of the genetic? The son of the genetic was Mr. Mpape. Kibua when the time now the Tomo the Tomo by recognized. So okay, this is what is happening, my guy. And then he on our green book, they also told us that. Uh, let's go to our green book in our green book they also told that this means that the two characteristics are transmitted to a offspring independently ne? and then also applies when they there is this not on the same chromosome we talk about that ne? and then during a gametes formation so we did this right so let's move on let's go let's go back to our examination guideline and then see now if we can understand that what they were trying to say with a mendel independent they say the various factors mind you here we are talking about genes and alleles 
mind you the guy he didn't know th these are the genes or those were called genes or those were called alleles right so he said the various factors controlling the different characteristics the various factors controlling the different characteristics are separate entities it means that the factors that are controlling the tallness they are separate entities with the characteristics controlling the color the color the color let's say let's say color here and then here the tallness ne? they are separate entities they are not together they are not we are not finding them at a same chromosome it means that as with 23 chromosome as with 22 let's use 22 and 23 sex and as with 22 chromosome it means that we'll have one chromosome for skin color one chromosome for hair one chromosome for tallness one chromosome for nyash one chromosome for muzzle you get me so here's what he's saying and then it says not influencing each other in any way you can be tall or and white you can be tall or this is what we see anil someone is tall and black does we if if this was not happening okay let's let's finish it and they they say not influencing each other in any way and sorting themselves out independently during gametes formation they sort themselves out independently hence we say the independent assortment during gametes here's the thing because they they are not influencing each other in any way we don't find hence okay hence we find a tall person a tall black guy and a tall white guy or we find a short black guy black guy or a short white guy if they were not or if they were influencing each other we were only going to see a uh, we were only going to say black guys they are only tall when you become black you become tall or when you are tall you are black and every short person in the world she is white because the moment you become black you become tall if they were not if they were influencing each other right but now because they are not influencing each other we find a tall white person we find a tall black person we find a short black person we find a short white person it means they are not influencing each other you we find you with we find black lady with no nyash and we find a black lady with nyash we also find white ladies with nyash you understand it means that the co the, the chromosomes there that are we hate having those characteristics they are not influencing each other and they are separating independently hence you find that your mother she has a nyash and you as a child you don't have a nyash your father has a muzzle you as a child you are just a, 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 a good and i hope you understand now let, let's go to high hybrid crosses i hope you understand that you can read here and then you'll understand that with this uh with this example here you read that you understand and then this will be our possible gametes and then you might say okay hey yeah, let's 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 do another thing you might say okay a tall guy let's use this a tall guy here let's use this example a tall guy t small letter t and a black guy a b small letter b we are going to cross it with someone and it with also two characteristics Ne? and then for us to find these gametes for us to find these gametes under this person we are going to use a monohybrid cross again with monohybrid cross you know that the first letter merge uh, combine with the first letter and then the first letter is going to combine also with the ne? these are the possibilities and then the first letter here it can combine with this or the first letter here it can combine with this or you use your Punnett square you use your panel square ne you use your panel we are now doing gametes and we are not doing the crossing you can see here i leave this space we are not crossing this and this we are doing the gametes of this these are the genotype you now you understand these are the genotype this is the cell before it can separate to form gametes ne and then here we will say you will come and say gametes and then here we will have capital letter t small letter t and then here we have capital letter b small letter b and then here we will have t and b combined here you will have t and capital letter b combined and here you have capital letter t and small letter b combined and then here we have small letter b and small letter t combined are uh, this not this or you can do this strategy here you can say the t first t with 
T first letter, capital letter T, B, and then this and this, capital letter T, small letter B, this and this, T, B, this and that, T, B. Are these, not these gametes. So this will be your one cell, and then this will be one sperm, this will be one sperm, this will be one sperm. Now moving to go and fertilize an offer. How is that How is that happening, or how is that a uh, uh, happening let's move on and do our crossings let's come and do our crossings and then here's the thing let me give you an scenario yana let's start with a scenario and then after scenario we'll also do a we'll also see how they give us scenarios in our textbook right and then in this since we are doing this for the first time we also have advantage of us uh, giving ourselves our uh, scenarios let's say also a black guy a tall black guy yeah, when you when they give you a two characteristics, sure you know that's a die hybrid. They will only give you two characteristics, one characteristics, not more than three. Then they will say, uh, maybe in a human being, okay, in a human being, uh, in a human being, a characteristics for a, a color black is dominant over the characteristics of a white of a white. Ne? And then the characteristics for a tall, it's also dominant over the characteristics of being short. So show us a, a, a crossing where a tall guy is being crossed. A, a, when a tall black guy, let's write it down. Let's write this. Let's write it down. Let's use white. When a tall guy, ask this. When a tall guy, a tall black guy was crossed with a short white lady here you find yourself a white lady and then here we'll say this is the p1 and then this is the phenotype you still write this thing phenotype you still write this thing and then from phenotype you go and say the geno you still write this thing my people don't forget and if you know that if you are writing this correctly you also have two here you can write here the, the information here might be wrong but this side you have two and then they will also give you in these two characteristics yes the guy is tall and black and yes the gay this one is and this but this one because they are recessive this one they are dominant over this one it means this this side we are going to have a small letter t small letter t and then white because this one is recessive and for them to be recessive it means that they have to have two of those alleles and then this side they can say it's either heterozygous or homozygous ne? So let's use both of them beam homozygous then we have t t and then black black ne? and then they can give you letters and then if they give you letters you're going to say if they give you letters you are going to write the letters if they don't give you letters you are going to use a keyword this side and you're going to use so you use a keyword and say let let t equals to tall dominant ne? at all let us just say tall because tall is dominant and and then you said let small letter b be short and then uh, let b be black and then let small letter b be a uh, small letter b being white ne? then you come this side and you give these keywords they might give you a letter or they may not give you a letter and then if you give it the, if they give you the letter you can also come and write the key if they don't give you a letter you can also that one that time it will be necessary for you to give a key then you come this side and then you say meiosis will take place meiosis will take place and then we are going to have our gametes and then how how, how do we get our gametes you can uh, use the panel square or you can use the crossing i did i showed you previous slide uh, i'm not going back i'm just going to come and do this one and then this will be this and this and then you say this and this this and this and this and this or you do a panel square right we talked about this or you do a panel square and then you place your uh, gametes here you place your gametes here, and then you you combine them then here you are going to have t b t b T B T B and for the lady that side female male then for the lady this side we are going to say small letter T small letter T B B and then this with this this with this this with this this with this we are going to have T B T T B T B 
tb make sure guys because now it looks a uh, simple because we are only repeating the same same letters but let's take for example let's take for example i was heterozygous ne? this person was heterozygous something like this something like this how are we going to write we are still going to do this and this and this and this and then we are going to say t b t b t b and t b you see we, we don't take the the capital letters that side and bring it uh, before the t we take t t same side t same side because you remember when we you when we do this this is going to to cancel and then this t with the possibility of this yeah yeah yeah, yeah. let me not confuse you but this is what <laughs> this is what uh don't 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 get confused when you find a uh, heterozygous uh, uh, characteristics because here we are dealing with homozygous characteristics it might look easy although it's not easy and then you come and take these uh, gametes here and write them here t b t b t b t b multiplied by t b t b t i man this one takes time t b t b T B. It needs you to relax. Hence, I said we'll do this in two days, and we'll do this after a uh, after blood because this one it needs you to be relaxed. Don't take, don't take, don't take it. What what? And then after that, gametes will have fertilization. And then here you will ask me, Mr. Pip, do we do the web or do we do the Punnett square here? You can do the web if you have space because this year. Is this this gametes here or this sperm here this sperm has a possibility to merge with this egg one or a possibility to merge with this egg two or a possibility to merge with this egg three or a possibility of merge with this egg four so you see that if we are writing the web thing it's going to be a co complicated thing right so for there we are going to have we are going to use a panel square here we'll use the panel square right to for 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 for, under, for better understanding because if you use this yes you can use this but it's going to be more complicated then with our panel square five five what five 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 blocks going that side five blocks going that side and five blocks going down how let's 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 start with going that side we will have a line and then we'll say one block i can i can't draw well one block second block a third block one two three fourth block one two three four and then the fifth the fifth block then also that side we also have to have five blocks and then we're going to say one this will be our first block second block third block fourth block and the fifth block you draw this you draw this yo you can see you draw this you are good you are good to go let me reduce the pen thickness and then okay it's fine and then you can see now and then here you're going to write your gametes uh, i didn't reduce sure then here you're going to write our gametes i want the pen to reduce here you're going to write our gametes which gametes these gametes we are going to say t b t b t b t b so you see when i said it will be more beneficial for you to understand the web and the planet square and then this side we will have small letter t b t b t b t b so because both of them they are homologous what what it means that the 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 matching of this thing will be the same right it means that we'll have this t and this t this t will go down and this t this t will go that side and this t will go down then this t and this t will have capital letter t small letter t capital letter b small letter b you saw that this t here will come and combine with this t and this b here will come and combine with this b and here's the results let's do the other let's do the the, the the next the next the next the next box this t with this t 
this b with this b you see what is happening so this because you can see they are the same okay you can see that these tb and tb this is what going to happen so all of these they are going to be the same right all of these uh, boxes are going to, th to be the same so after here we are going to let me write it let me write it let me write it let me not waste your time guys let me not waste your time then let's move to something that uh, it will in, it will make us to engage into this uh, question very well and then after fertilization you are going to write genotype genotype and then genotype you are going to count how many of these are in these boxes these boxes all of them they are 12 1 2 3 16 more. 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and then genotype you are going to say we have this first we have t small letter t capital letter b small letter b how many of these do we have out of this 16 and then out of this we understand that we'll have 16 out of 16 which means the genotype will be 16 of this right and then you go to phenotype you go to phenotype and then phenotype you go to the genotype and interpret here we have tall and black it means that all of them or 100% they will be tall and they will be tall and black ne? so you see 100% when we have homologous color multiplied by homologous we are going to have 100% right so let's go to another example where we don't have 100% here's an example die hybrid example mostly they will give these examples like this ne? mostly they will give example like this but in plants in plants i'm using white there let's use black this time around then let's increase uh, so i hope you understand guys if you don't understand tell me uh, go to the youtube channel go to my facebook and tell me that you don't understand i'll come and explain it better tomorrow because tomorrow we are still going to do this ne? This, this today it's for you to go and practice these homologous crossings the understanding you understand you can read it but crossings but in plants in plants right a tall capital letter t and a yellow capital letter y are dominant over the short and orange ne? then it means that the orange will be small letter y ne? And then flowers and then marry a plant which is heterozygous for both traits was crossed with a heterozygous tall plant with orange flowers do a genetic cross to show the possible offspring you come here you 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 understand you relax you take a deep breath you go and assess the question the question you say a heterozygous a, a, a plant with a heterozygous for both traits it means both traits it will be t it, and then it's heterozygous ah you see now you see now your thing you see your thing now a heterozygous for both traits it means that we are going to say a phenotype we can start with phenotype um, phenotype you are saying you are going to say a heterozygous heterozygous both traits both traits was mixed with a heterozygous heterozygous tall a uh, with orange this is what this is the phenotype that when p1 when you are going to say genotype you will be explaining it ne? genotype and then genotype you are going to say this heterozygous both it means that we have t small letter t like heterozygous they, but they gave us only one letter and then you know that for us to use these letters we have to have a capital and a small letter for the recessive and then both traits it means here we have yellow this yellow thing 
I will, I will advise you to not use why, guys. I will advise you not to use why. Because you, you how if someone is going to write this why and then we don't see which which why is capital letter, which why is small letter, you're going to have a problem. Then why? Then was multiplied by or was crossed with a heterozygous tall, heterozygous tall with a orange. You see here. You see here. With orange. And then then from there you are going to say meiosis will take place. Then meiosis gametes. Gametes. And then gametes, you are going to do the site. Gametes, TT, you do, you do this with pencil. You do this with pencil. Why this white thing is going to cost us? And then we are going to say this with this one, and this with this one, this with this one, and this with this one. Same this side. And then you will have T, capital letter Y. And then you have T, small letter Y. And then you have small letter T, capital letter Y. And then you will have, you will have T, Small letter, small letter Y. Ne? And then even this side, we are going also we are also going to do the same Y, Y. And then this, this, this. I will advise you guys to not use same letters. Like the person who, who come up with this question, I'm. Why don't you use yellow, yellow, orange R, orange R, maybe R. Ay, let's move on. Then T, it will be T Y, and then T y and then small letter t y small letter t y then you gum in gametes you write them gametes this side it's t capital letter y and then t small letter y and then small letter t capital letter y ay, 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 ay. then t small letter y was crossed with t capital letter t small letter y and then, and then and then and then and then t small letter y and then t small letter y and then T small letter Y. Yeah, I'll write the small letter Y here at the bottom. And then from there, you go and do your Punnett square. And then you'll say fertilization. Fertilization will take place with our, uh, I told you, five, five, five blocks. And then one, two, three, uh, two, man, one, two. You count the blocks. One, two, three. Four, five. When you use a ruler, you place your things very well. One, you say one, two, three, four, five. Just make sure that uh, I will advise you to make sure that you have a big space. Some of some of our teachers used to advise us to write the phenotype inside, the genotype inside, and write a phenotype at the bottom. Ne? I will show you. Then we will say the gametes here. Yeah? I'll show you what I'm talking about. Then you are going to say T, Y, T, Y, T, Y, T, Y. Then this side we are going to have T, Y, T, Y, T, Y, T, Y. And then these two now will have to meet. And this will go that side and this will go down one. And then capital T and T. We are going to have let's let let's write them here. We are going to have T and T and capital letter Y and small letter Y. And then the phenotype of this, because this one we are dealing with a tall plant, this will be tall and a yellow. Ne? Like this. Right? So let's move on. You can write it like this or you can. That one is for you. And then, but what we want is T, T, capital letter Y, small letter Y. Here, capital letter T. You see, uh, this T here is joining with this T. And then we'll have T, T. And then this Y and this Y will have Y, Y. And then start with capital letter, the, the, the third one here. Start with the capital letter T, small letter T. Capital letter Y, small letter Y. So you see, right? And then this one will start with the capital letter T, small letter Y. And then... Uh, this is the capital letter, uh, small letter Y, small letter Y, small letter Y. If I do mistake, guys, you'll bear with me because they, they choose uh, uh, the letters that they, are, they, they, don't, they don't work well with this thing. T, T, capital letter Y, small letter Y. And then here, capital letter T, capital letter T, small letter Y, small letter Y. Here, capital letter T, small letter T, capital letter Y, small letter Y. Here, capital letter T, small letter T, 
small letter y small letter y and then you come here you concentrate on this box and this box ne? this is where they are merging again then you'll have capital letter t small letter t capital letter y small letter y then capital letter t small letter t a uh, small letter y small letter y and then we will have small letter t small letter t a uh, capital letter y small letter y and then small letter t small letter t small letter y small letter y and then capital letter t small letter t capital letter y small letter y and then capital letter t small letter t small letter y small letter y and then small letter t small letter t capital letter y small letter y capital small letter t small letter t small letter y small letter y so eh let's move on then from there you are going to say come it and now we can increase our pen then we are going to say uh, we are going to say gametes here yeah. i will show you hence i said let's do this wednesday and friday then you will say to go gametes and then gametes we are going to check now let's use, let's change a color let's say red we are going to check now this all these boxes right and then we are going to say first box here it's t it's capital letter t capital letter t capital letter y small letter y since all of these boxes since of this all of these gametes they equals to 16 so we want to find how many of these gametes out of 16 they are here which how many gametes do we have capital letter t capital letter t capital letter y small letter y we will have them out of 16 so we come and count one ne? and then capital letter t capital letter then two ne? you can see capital letter capital letter capital letter y small letter then we have two anyone no we have two out of 16 then we'll see two out of 16 then all of them they should con conclude to 16 and it, and then we go to a number one which is number two which is t T, I'll show you why we do this. Why? Why? Out of 16, we are counting them. 1, capital letter T, capital letter T, small letter Y, small letter 1, 2. That's it, Anir. And then we will have 2 out of 16. Go and do another, another question that needs you to do this and practice to count the genotype. Sorry, I yeah, wrote gametes. So you see, uh, doing things while well, we are not here. If you were here, you were going to say, "I'm um, say you did a, you did a genotype. You did, you know, you did a mistake. There should be genotype. So since you are not here, we'll have these mistakes. And then the second one, it will be this capital letter T, small letter T, capital letter Y, small letter Y. Out of sixteen, how many do we have? One, two. Capital letter T, small letter Y. Capital letter T, capital okay, one, two, three. I can see three here, and I can see four here, and then there are four, four out of 16, right? And then we move on to let's come and do this capital letter T, small letter T, small letter Y, small letter Y. Out of 16, how many do we have? We have one, we have crossed one. Better to it's better to to cro to, 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 to write before you cross. One, two, three, four. Right? Then we have four. Then we move on. And then we go and do small letter T, small letter T, capital letter Y, small letter Y. Out of sixteen, how many do we have? One, two. Right? You can agree with me. True. Then the last one, it will be small letter T, small letter T, small letter Y, small letter Y. Out of 16, how many do we have? We have 1, 2. Then we have 2. Right. Then all of all, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 4, 5, 6, 16. Again, you are now uh, all of them. Then now from there, you go and do phenotype. Then you have all of them phenotype. And then with phenotype, Let's just change a color here. Let's use blue this time. With phenotype, you are going to you are going to only concentrate on the first letter of the two. First letter of the two. Because this a do, this is a complete dominant. And so it means if you have a dominant one over the recessive one, it means that there you are going to and then the color here it's tall. It's tall plant 
and then tall plant key again let and then yellow a uh, capital letter and then a uh, short small letter and then orange a uh, small letter y so you go to phenotype and say ah, yes 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 where you have to make a uh, yes you have to be careful and then you come in here and say this one is tall on it or you can write them at the bottom or you can write them somewhere i'm not sure how you are going to do this so that when now you don't be confused here here we have tall and what tall and yellow right tall and yellow one tall is here we have tall and yellow right and then we say tall and yellow then we are going to see those who have a, a, a tall and yellow we only have four probabilities ne? then tall and yellow we have and then we have two we add two this one is not this one is it plus four it will be six see this one and this one right this one and this one is going to give yellow and tall and yellow then it will be two plus four it will be six then six six I get only six then six then a uh, first phenotype the second phenotype it will be those who are tall but with orange uh, those who are tall but with orange orange is it flowers yeah orange flowers then we are going to say two two also this one four five six you see here you see here six and then it will be like that then it will be six then the other one it will be then we are done with that one and we are coming here it will be short and short and what here short and yellow then we count them we have two we only have two on it then the last one we we are left with two which are short and orange um, but, but, drilling, uh, upl upload me then all of all this one has to make up 16 and all on all this have to make up to 16 so if it's 100 percent it will be 16 out of 16 one and then it will be 100 percent right so here's the the phenotype ratio and there's the genotype ratio and the question was let's take the question but do a genetic cross to show the possible offspring and then the possible offsprings these are the possible offsprings we have six of them that can be tall and yellow and we have six of them that can be tall and orange we have two possibilities that can be short and yellow and we have two possibilities that can be short and orange this is how we do the dye hybrid cross this is how we do a dye hybrid cross nothing much nothing less guys do you want another example do you let's go to a textbook let's go and check your textbook or textbook barry and then you might okay okay i still have time i was i was about to, to to leave you guys i still have time here on our green book where's the green book on our green book uh, we, they also give you an a what we call a step again on how do we do this so if you don't understand my step you can go to our green book and see the steps right and then from there we have activity number three let's do this activity number three because they also give us an answer let's do activity number three but in hamsters the allele the allele for a black coat ne color it's black dominant it's dominant over the allele of a white then we have black and white ne and then the allele for a rough coat r is dominant over the allele of a smooth coat then we have a capital letter b small letter uh, capital letter b small letter b and the the color one we have a uh, capital letter r for rough and small letter r for a uh, smooth ne? then but in, if you cross a hamster that is heterozygous black that is heterozygous black it means is this and homozygous rough homozygous rough rough is this capital letter r and they're saying homo zygous rough and then it will be like this crossed with a uh, with one that is heterozygous black which means it will be like this and heterozygous rough it means it will be like this since the rough one is the dominant one and here 
then if you have that will be like this but what will be the phenotype and genotype of the offspring right so when you are crossing this let's write you are crossing b and b capital letter r capital letter r multiply by b small letter b capital letter r small letter r so when you have to decode the question do you understand at the end of the question you should have this and then now you can go and say what what will be the composite the composite will be the phenotype and the genotype of the offspring when if you manage to come up with this you manage to decode the dihybrid cross because if you fail to come up with this it means everything you are going to fail do you understand you come here and say okay they are saying the hamza that is heterozygous you see now they are not saying a b and i they are saying heterozygous when well, you know heterozygous they are not the same right these are not the same and then for the color black then since the color black is the dominant it will be like this and then homozygous they are the same for the rough then which one is it coding for the rough it's capital letter r and since they're saying it's homozygous it means it will be the same like this and then the second person the second hamster they are saying one that is heterozygous black this is the heterozygous black and then heterozygous rough since it's heterozygous it means that it will have the different gametes right and then from there you can now go phenotype genotype phenotype you write this Gen uh, phenotype you write this uh, genotype you write this let's go they did a answer to the activity this answer to the activity step one very phenotype black rough coat and black coat okay the phenotype you are going to write black black rough coat and then a uh, black rough coat yes yes ne? This one is a black. This one is also rough because we have the genotype. That's where we're going to have the explanation of the genotype. Now, for my thing, I will I would like you guys to write a a hamster that is a heterozygous black and homozygous rough. Yeah, heterozygous black, homozygous rough was crossed with heterozygous black and heterozygous rough. So that when you come to genotype, you won't mistaken with this you'll know that this black is heterozygous and then this rough coat is homozygous and you'll know that this black is heterozygous and you know this rough is also heterozygous ne? so guys step one step two for genotype you write genotype right we move on we go to our panel square five this side five going side one two three four five going that side and one two three four five going down side then from there you write your meiosis and fertilization gametes they didn't write gametes where, they, where are the gametes eh, the gametes gametes we'll need gametes and if this and this it will be b r b r b r b r and then also this side will be b r you see when you are when you understand this you won't need to write all those b r b r you won't be able to you won't need to write all those crossings and what what you will see by just seeing at the problem you will now understand this is how this is what is happening this and this this and this this and this this and this okay it's so fine we come here we write our gametes this is the br br small letter b small letter b then we cross them okay the b will come and match with this b and then we give us this the capital letter r capital letter r like this and then all of them we are going to join them in step number four and six then from there we say genotype and then genotype they said six different genotypes as in the table above the genotype we are going to count on it this yeah yes 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 yes, yes. before i can leave you guys here you will find that they will say let me go to your textbook and show you also here explain i've explained everything the example of we have the example this i've explained it i've explained if you want to come and do and then you can see here the genotypes they didn't show you how to come up with genotype again so here you'll know when you come to a textbook you'll be now equipped with how to come with this genotype and then from the genotype you'll now be equipped to write them gametes like this and then five going that side five going down side and then you place them like this then after placing like this and then here they see is the another thing they said genotype they said nine different genotypes as in the uh, the table above these nine different genotype how are they finding them how are they coming with these nine different you know same as our green book here yeah. same with our green book they just came and said six different genotypes like where how so you see they're not explaining it but yes let me explain it to you you are likely to be here we are going to do like this 
agree with saying we have to have them out of 16 and we have to have them out of 16 out of 16 so you come in here and count this br and br we are going to see one two we have two of them on here and then capital letter b and small letter r some capital letter b small letter r we also have two of them and then this side and this side we also have two this br and br we also have two and then capital letter b capital letter r r we also have two capital letter b b b b we also have if you look you won't find anything that is like this except in this block so we also have two the one that you have small letter bb small letter bb capital letter r r capital letter r r and then here the one with small letter bb capital letter r small letter r we also have found them in these two block so here's the thing the genotype here i'll say it's wrong because the genotype it will be two four six eight ne the genotype will be two four six eight here's the thing the genotype ne the genotype will say how many of how many do we have of these? We also have two. Anir. So it means that we will have these two genotype and also have these two genotype. That is different from this. So we'll have two, four, six, eight. And then eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Then, then we will have one. Then we will have one. These two we will count this genotype as one. Then this genotype will count it as two. Then we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll have eight different genotypes as in the table above. Because when we see these eight, we have eight different genotypes. It, uh, we have, do you understand? I'm, I'm not sure if you understand this. If you want to write it like this, this is how you count it. And then with phenotypes, 12 with black rough coat and four with white black coat. Yes, because four We'll need four to have white coat. We'll need these two. This for us to have a white coat, a small b, small b, small b, small b, small b, small b. It will be this four and the rough coat. This because the R here is dominant, the coat will be rough. And then all of them they will have the black color and white color. So let me go to my textbook and show you how do they come up with these nine different genotypes. Yes, five nine different genotypes. In this uh, here we are we are we are crossing the heterozygous and here we are crossing t t p p multiplied by t t p p heterozygous for everything so we are going to say one how many of them do we have we only have one again and then uh, from two we're going to have we have two of this ne and then we have one here of this and then we are going to have two of this and then we're going to have four of this I'm not sure you will see when you and then we are going to have one of these we are going to have two of these and then we are going to have two of these and we are going to have one of these then when you say nine different genotypes you are going to say one two three four five six these two six seven here yeah, and then eight these two and then nine this one hence we said nine different genotypes so you see i hope i hope you saw that we can repeat that now i showed you you have to write one two three of you when you come to explain here because this phenotype i told you that this phenotype is the explanation of what you have a genotype but if when you are going to write them like this how are you going to to interpret them now here yeah. but this is what we see on our textbook right and then let me I'll also I'll, i also need to explain to you where are, where how are they getting these nine different genotypes as shown in the above what if i also want to do that this genotype is counting one we have one of this type we have one out of 16 of t t p p and then we also have one two we have two out of 16 of capital letter t capital letter t p P, do you understand? And also if one out of sixteen of this of capital letter T, capital letter T, small letter P, small letter P, right? And then we we also have four of this. Four of this. Ne? Then there we have two of this, two of this, one, one, two of this, two of this. So we are going to count them as one one. So we are going to say one this type. They say different genotypes, ne? One this type, two this type three this type 
four, this two. Five, this two. Six, this type. Seven, this type. Eight, this type. Nine, this type. Hence, we have nine different genotypes. Get me? So, in our green book, they did mistake. You can go and see and revisit. They said six, but here it's eight. Because we have one of this type, two of this type, three of this type, four of this type, five of this type, six of this type, seven of this type, eight of this type. All in all, we have eight genotypes. We are done guys go and go and do the exercise go and read go and practice guys go and practice and then this activity here doesn't say much of our crossing here we, we are not doing much with a crossing there is no crossing here so i would like you guys to go and do crossing which crossing let me give you this crossing we'll come and do it tomorrow this one is also challenging yana so this one will say it's our homework yadi 27 03 20 24 so when i go and do this homework of crossing if you also have power if you have matimba you can also come and do if you also have matimba you can also come and do this activity here activity six because tomorrow when i come i'm starting with this activity six because here in activity six is just the knowledge of it's just a knowledge of dihybrid crosses ne? Then when now you'll be equipped with the knowledge of diabrid cross, we can come and start here. And then from there, I'll come and do this cross. Then from there, we are done, guys. We can do another example. And then Friday, we do questions that they are related to dihybrid crosses. Then that's it from me. Um, guys. It's fire thank you. Thank you guys. All of you are subscribing. All of you are commenting. All of you are liking. I haven't seen any comment. Eh, I saw a comment, right? Someone said, okay, Konobua speed in a Konobua speed, guys. Lizulu siya kuluma. Eh, vetonga ya bula bula, guys. I found benefit like eh, enja shinlish. Enja diabridly. Then, guys, eh, distinction there. Today, this year, distinction there. So, limpombo. And then and then we are call, calling all of you guys from Swaziland, from Swaziland, from Lesotho, from wherever if you want to learn this, come and learn. Uh, Northwest, Eastern Cape, Limpumalanga, Swaziland, Natal, come and learn this. Today we are doing, tomorrow we'll come and do a give new pig with black fair long. Let me not, let me not say anything. Go and do this. Thank you guys from me, Mpepu, uh, Nyombe. Pray for me, I'll pray for you. Thank you until we meet again. Peace. Kuhula kubena nguina.